Basics of Remote Sensing and GIs Remote sensing is the process of collecting data about objects or landscape features without coming into direct physical contact with them. It can be anything from visual assessment of one surrounding area, using a handheld camera, aerial photography, satellite imagery. A satellite can be defined as any object, either man-made or naturally occurring, that orbits around something else. For example, the moon orbits around Earth and is thus a satellite. The Earth orbits around the Sun and is a satellite of the Sun. In today's context, we reserve the term remote sensing to imagery collected by electro-optical sensors. In other words, instruments which measure electromagnetic radiation EMR that is reflected or emitted from the terrain radiant energy. Scanners that record the amount of reflected light energy of the sun from the Earth's surfaces. This energy is recorded within certain segments of the electromagnetic spectrum. Every entity on the face of the Earth has unique hand varying energy levels and remote sensing systems simply measure the different levels. These energy levels are portrayed by way of the electromagnetic spectrum. The M spectrum measures energy from gamma rays to radio waves. Types of orbits One low Earth orbit Two polar orbit Three geostationary orbit Four elliptical orbit Low Earth orbit when a satellite circles close to Earth we say it's in low Earth orbit. Satellites in LEO are just 200, 500 miles high. They can circle Earth in about 90 minutes. Polar orbit. The polar orbit is a particular type of low Earth orbit. The only difference is that a satellite in polar orbit travels the north-south direction, rather than the more common east-west direction. The geosynchronous orbit can also be called a geostationary orbit. A satellite in Geoshkanov's equatorial orbit geo is located exactly 22,300 miles out in space. Many communications satellites travel in geosynchronous orbit including those that relay TV signals into our homes. Elliptical orbit A satellite in elliptical orbit follows an oval-shaped path. One part of the orbit is closest to the center of Earth perigee and the other part is farthest away. Communications satellites in elliptical orbits cover the areas in the high northern and southern hemispheres that are not covered by geosatellites. These are the different types of sensors. One is active sensor. Second one is passive sensor. Remote sensing systems which measure energy that is naturally available are called passive sensors. Passive sensors can only be used to detect energy when the naturally occurring energy is available. For all reflected energy, this can only take place during the time when the sun is illuminating the earth. Active sensors, on the other hand, provide their own energy source for illumination. The sensor emits radiation which is directed toward the target to be investigated. The radiation reflected from that target is detected and measured by the sensor.
process involved in remote sensing one energy source to sun rays and atmosphere three sun rays and objects on the earth for recording of energy by the sensor five transmission reception and processing six interpretation and analysis seven application Image resolution 1. Spatial resolution to dot spectral resolution 3. Dot radiometric resolution 4. Dot temporal resolution Spatial resolution refers to the size of the smallest possible feature that can be detected. Spectral resolution Defined by the portions of the M spectrum the sensor is designed to record number of spectral bands and the spectral range of the band width. Radiometric resolution The number of grade levels that can be differentiated by a sensor the radiometric resolution of an imaging system describes its ability to discriminate very slight differences in energy. The finer the radiometric resolution of a sensor, the more sensitive it is to detecting small differences in reflected or emitted energy. Temporal resolution refers to the repeat cycle of the sensor platform and the length of time in service. Across track scanners scan the earth in a series of lines. The lines are oriented perpendicular to the direction of motion of the sensor platform by E across the swap. Along track scanners also use the forward motion of the platform to record successive scan lines and build up a two-dimensional image, perpendicular to the flight direction. The applications of remote sensing area is very large. Some of the application areas are represented here. Agriculture, forest, soil, water resources. Land use and land cover, environment, ocean applications, disaster warning and management, 